Are you are from this area? Yeah, this area. I live in Kandahar, born in this place. How do you see the future here in Afghanistan? Uh, the future is good. But if we don't study, nothing is good for Afghanistan. Studying is the best thing of our life. I'm going to be spending a week in Afghanistan, exploring the culture, meeting people, and hopefully gaining a new perspective. So here we go again. Right, just finished the meeting with the Taliban because they wanted to see us. So essentially we came to visit the shrine right now. The most important thing is not this shrine, but it's actually what happened before. We had a meeting with the Taliban. They invited us for tea, 20 minutes. They just wanted to talk to us to understand how's everything going in Afghanistan, wishing us a great trip, but that's all. You need to understand that this city was very important for the Taliban, particularly during the war uh, in the late 90s and early 2000s. A lot of conflict and, and stuff was going on here really. Till today this is still a very spiritual and important place. Other than that there's valleys, there's mountains, a beautiful place to explore. So I'm excited to explore in the market, the bazaar and, and a couple of other places today. So look at this, we are in this abandoned amusement park. We got a belt. Probably not super safe to use it. Anyway, we will go all the way up. This is one of the oldest human settlements in history. In fact, there's evidence that humans lived here, going back all the way till 9,000 years ago. There's a lot of excavations in this city. You can see underground tunnels and caves. When the conflict was very intense, they were using these tunnels to escape. to visit the bazaar, time to visit the market. Thank you very much, huh? Okay, so this is the traditional hut of this city in the streets of Kandahar. Besides all this stuff, I got the hat. Now I feel more like a local. What's your name? My name is Asula. Oh, nice to meet you. This looks very, very nice. Local food, I've seen this before. We came to the shrine of the father of Afghanistan. We're gonna see now if we can enter. I have an army of kids with me. Not too sure if school finished or what, but uh, yeah. Hello. Welcome to Afghanistan. Can you say the same? We must say one, two, three. Welcome to Afghanistan. My name is Shirali. You are from this area? Yeah, this area. I live in Kandahar and I born in this place. So your home is very, very close? It's on the street. Oh, oh. nice. And how is, how is life in this city? This city is life very good because to, if people want to make a job, it's the job job place in Afghanistan. But some people say, to no, we don't have any job to in Afghanistan. We want to go to a foreign country. But no, it's the very good place for job, for study. Nothing is bad. What's your dream? What do you want to do for a living? My dream, my future is that I make a businessman for survive for my country, for my people, for my family. To make a, a businessman, yeah, to make a have a big cars, big, big homes. It's my dreams to go to foreign countries to look these people that I hope to see these people. Yeah. How do you see the future here in Afghanistan? Uh, the future is good, but uh, to we make a study to stay, to we, we can get get something by studying. If we don't study, nothing is good for Afghanistan. Studying is the best thing of our life or every life. But now Afghanistan is 
need to study people that they that they should make Afghanistan. You do gymnastics? Yeah, gymnastics. Competing locally and stuff like that, or just just for you to relax? Yeah, because but some people say to me, what is not make to gymnastics? But I do it. <laughs> it's my hobby is to make <laughs> gymnastics. Oh, can yeah. can you do here like something? Like something? I don't know, yeah, a, a jump or something? Oh, yeah. But he want to make... Can, to can you do a jump and here, right now? Yeah, because we have one. Come on. Show, show, us, show us something, what you can yeah. do right now. Here's my friend of gymnastics. Yeah, it's yeah. the very... Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. So many beautiful places in this city that this was totally, totally, totally unexpected. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Argentina. From yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're from this city? Yeah. How is life in this city? Good. Good? Good. Yeah. Enjoy it. Good job. Good money. And good people. You know I will try your ice cream. Okay. Really good, man. Well done, man. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. All right, let's do a quick wrap up of the day. We started very early here in Kandahar. The most surreal thing of today was that the Taliban directors wanted to meet us. Are you enjoying Afghanistan? Let us know if we can help with anything. I think this is kind of standard protocol for them. Everything went fine. In, in that meeting, it was like 20 minutes, 25 minutes maybe. And then we started to explore different areas of the city. Shrines, mosques. My favorite one, the bazaar, the market. But this is my favorite thing in every country I go because in those markets, you can really see how normal people live and you can have maybe like a little conversation with them and get more insights into in terms of daily life in Afghanistan. So for example, today I was literally 10, 15 seconds with my phone doing like a little vlog in the market. Somebody approached me, hey, I said, do you speak English? And he continued talking and all that. And then I left and he was following me and he spoke with our local contact. He ended up asking for our permissions and uh, all this kind of thing. So essentially this guy, I think he was part of the Taliban, but dressed like a, you know, a normal clothes. That's just for you to know the behind the scenes of all this. This is a very important spiritual place for many of them. For me, when I saw the nature here, you know, the mountains, the valleys, these stunning views of the city. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. And I didn't expect this, but I was very happy at the same time to see all this nature that they have here. So a very interesting place. Then when we talk about people and the human side, literally everyone I spoke on the street were telling me, that they were positive about the country, that they have jobs and things are good. What can I say, right? Obviously, if they're telling me this, uh, I, I need to believe this. Uh, I cannot question all this. But uh, on, the, on the other hand, obviously I had a bunch of conversations of the record with some other people. Um, opinions were a bit different, right? So I think it's constructive to have both worlds. People who are in favor and they say yeah, everything is positive, everything is good, but also people who disagree right like in every country to try to improve things and something very very important i think to mention that when we were in the last shrine there were a bunch of kids approaching us and uh, they want to be in photos and all that but there was one particular guy who was even offering us can i bring tea for you i want to make you feel comfortable on this kind of thing so you can you can tell that even though people went through so much in this country they remained resilient positive and they're very strong they're really strong people. People were very friendly here. Hey, how are you? What's your name? And all these kind of things. And I could feel the friendliness of the people here. One of the most interesting things of today with people. Past all the checkpoints, security controls, probably good. 30 to 40 minutes. So now we're waiting for our flight to Kabul. One interesting thing, there was a check where we needed to put our backpacks on, on a line um, and then all the dogs checking our stuff. This uh, I've never seen before like that. But yeah, other than that, the rest was straightforward. So heading to Kabul now.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kabul. Back in Kabul.